Well, I think the majority of the state senate was, was where we ended up to begin with. And the fact that we did not like to take student IDs, the one fallacy, in my opinion, of, of Senator Kyle's argument that first you have to be registered and then you student IDs, that student IDs are more easily counterfeited than, than in general than our driver's license. So I think we're all there to begin with. But when, when Senator Kyle, excuse me, Senator Ketron presented the bill the first time, we bought into to his argument, which is a good argument, that, that based on court cases that have been, have, been, have been upheld, I think in particular Indiana, Illinois, I can't remember, a, court, a Supreme Court case has been upheld that um, college IDs were part of that court case. And if, if that, so we know that's legal because it's been upheld in the U.S. Supreme Court. If you go past that and limit it, I've, I've talked to the Attorney General personally, he still thinks he can defend it. He was here today, we asked him about this in particular. I think all of us, the bottom line is, all of us to begin with did not want student IDs included. We simply did it because uh, it helped our case in court if it ever got challenged again. But after talking to the Attorney General and Assistant Attorney General, they felt they could defend it, so that's the reason we did it with the House bill.